What is up party people? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Devin and I'm a huge believer that there is something magical that happens when pen hits paper. So if you believe this too, you might want to stick around. Today I'm going to be sharing a pen hacks video. Now as a side note, you might hear some munching in the background. Those are my dogs. I gave them some treats to keep them preoccupied in this video, but I didn't realize how loud their chewing was. So I really do apologize for that, but I am excited to finally sit down with a new tripod, by the way. So we have this nice overhead setup finally figured out. And I'm actually taking a break from NaNoWriMo. I did two word sprints this morning and I have quite a few more to go to hit my word count. But I will update you guys on Thursday with how that is going. Right now, we're just gonna start playing with some pens. I have a couple notes here to kind of keep me on track. But this is sort of a response, I guess, to a question that I had for myself in my notebooks and stationery I've used up video. And if you haven't seen that video, I will link it off in the description box below so you can check it out. But basically, I was torn because I have a bunch of pens, mostly these tool pens from Office Depot that I used up as I mentioned in that video, I really do enjoy using these pens, which is why I have so many of them, but I couldn't really bring myself to splurge on the refills. So after a little bit of experimenting, I found some solutions that I wanted to share with you in case you were in a similar predicament and there were some discoveries that I found in addition to that that I think you might find useful if you're hoping to mod or hack your pens. Let me go ahead and show you what the tool refill looks like. Again, this is one that I used up and it reminded me a lot of the Uniball Signo 307 refill. So let me show you that and actually hold them side by side so you guys can see. So it's very similar, almost, I mean, I can't really see any discerning qualities that make it stand out from one another, just looking at it like this. So once I saw that the refill cartridges were very similar, I went ahead and popped it into my tool pen and it works just fine. Because the Uniball Signo refill works, the Uniball RE refill will also work. So I've tried that and swatched it for you here. There's that one. And then this one I actually have already refilled with a Sarasa Vintage cartridge. Let me show that to you. And Again, the refills are quite similar in shape. So I've been using this intermittently in my morning pages journal and I absolutely love it. So let me swatch this one for you. So there's that and I know that the tool pens aren't necessarily a super popular pen, but they are easily accessible at your local Office Depot and Office Max. They have them on Amazon as well, but once you get through like the cartridge that's in here, I found that it's just super difficult to find reasonably priced refills. So if you find a tool pen barrel that you really like, and you want to continue using it, then these refills, the Uniball Signo refill and the Zebra Vintage Sarasa refill, they work just fine. Just out of curiosity, I decided to play around with the Pentel Energel. Now this is a special Rilakkuma limited edition barrel that I got in a Tokyo Pen Shop character kit and I'm not quite done with the ink yet. We're definitely getting there but because I was playing around with these guys, I wanted to see if, in fact, 
the refills could be swapped. So if I hold them up for you, again, the profile looks pretty much the same. And you can, actually, I don't think I swatched this one. You can use the Uniball Signo refills in your Pentel Energel. So that works. And then I also previously swatched the Zebra Vintage Sarasa Clip refill in dark blue, and it works exactly the same in the Pentel Energel as if it was made for it. So if you're like me and you have a, a Pentel Energel that you like using, you can refill it with your Uniball Signo refills or your Zebra Sarasa refills and you could hack some really pretty colors in there. I don't know off the top of my head what the price difference is between those refills. Again, I was kind of just pressed to find an affordable refill for my tool pens but in case you have some extra refills lying around like I do, you can kind of play around and swap as you need it. This last hack I actually learned from watching one of Tokyo Pen Shop's videos, and I'm going to be hacking a Sarasa Select refill into my Coletto. Now in order to do this, you need a Coletto topper, which I have right here, and the refill you might recognize from my stationery I've used up video. The ink is all gone and I'm just gonna pop the Coletto refill off the top. Comes off pretty easily and I haven't tried this like previously so you and I are going to figure this out together. It seems fairly simple. So if you line up the refills, I don't know if you guys will be able to see it but the Sarasa Select refill is actually longer than the Coletto refill. So in order to make it fit into the Coletto, we're going to cut it down to the same size. And the next step is to just pop the Coletto topper onto the Sarasa Select refill. That seems secure enough. And we're going to pop this in and try it out. Success! So now I have a Sarasa Select in my Coletto, which is really exciting. From what I've seen, the Coletto line doesn't have a pretty pale blue like the Sarasa Select line does. That's gonna be it for this video. I just wanted to take the opportunity to share some of the awesome pen hacks that I discovered and hopefully it will help you and even inspire you to play around with your pens. You never know what kind of combinations you guys can come up with. And if you do have any special pen combinations or hacks, please feel free to share it in the comments below.